There's recently been a lot of needed discussion surrounding the cybersecurity YouTube and influencer space about getting into cybersecurity, and it's perhaps over promises by a lot of influencers. You know, I made a debut myself here, so really, um, I wanted to kind of create a video encompassing really some realistic, unfiltered takes on getting into cybersecurity. I've always tried to remain transparent, realistic, with the fact that cybersecurity is great, but it's also realism and it's not gonna be the best. So let's talk cybersecurity, its career implications, and random stuff. There is not an exact way to get into security. So if we look at cybersecurity careers, I've said this probably too many times by now, but there's not a one-to-one -one correlation for getting into security. The recruitment process is quite nuanced. Everyone is going to have and provide an opinion on cybersecurity, yours included, but Really, they're gonna say, hey, you need to get into help desk, you must learn networking, you can get into SOC analyst right away from straight from school. Everyone's gonna have this, this advice and it's all valid, various different advice and levels, but really there isn't this one-to-one -one way of getting into security. Perhaps oftentimes it's literally a game of chance and luck with landing roles. A subtext of this could be that entry-level careers are, are crowded and they're quite difficult to get into. There's several reasons behind this. You have a, a very crowded market right now for entry-level career applicants. A lot of individuals are looking for people who have maybe an IT background. Um, so yeah, security careers, they, there's not an oh, easy way to get into. There, there's not one way, I should say. Cybersecurity isn't just a technical problem. So once you land your first few positions in a security role, you'll probably learn that cybersecurity is not necessarily the 1337 hacksaw. Actually, it's pretty far from it, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, cybersecurity oftentimes is an organizational and cultural problem as much as it is a technical problem. The tech and tools exist out there. What matters more so is how security plays into the so-called business enablement and the friction between security versus convenience and how it really incorporates your whole element within the business. When I got into my first security position out of university, I did think that I was going to be doing more technical work. And certainly I have done technical work, what I found was a lot of my operational type time was responding to Jira tickets, writing documentation, and interfacing with teams on meetings about perhaps applying a security control. Even in ethical hacking or penetration testing type jobs, which is often the hype and marketing of this industry, a lot of it is the same monotonous work, which is you do the same operations, the same company or organization, you write a report and you communicate with its customers. Problem solving is key to security. So cybersecurity really is about problem solving like anything in life. The answers won't be handed to you. Oftentimes in university and certifications, we're kind of groomed for this way of, we will get the right answer. And certainly there are correct answers, but it's nuanced and every organization, every customer is going to be well different. So. I mean, maybe a key tenant of being successful is working on your problem solving skills, which is always an ever evolving thing. While editing this video, I got a call, a missed call from Locker Security. I guess they must have caught my malicious actions happening in my sandbox, which is a transition into today's sponsor. ThreatLocker. ThreatLocker is a zero trust security platform that gives you control over what runs in your environment. But what really is zero trust? Well, over the past few videos, I've overviewed the key tenets of what makes zero trust actually zero trust, including allow listing, only allowing a legitimate applications to run, elevation control, only allowing or provisioning local administrative access when needed, ring fencing, which restricts what applications can interact with, such as preventing Excel from calling PowerShell, and some fun features such as malware sandboxing. If you want to learn more about the core principles of Zero Trust, I recommend checking out my Myths video created. And if you want to learn more about ThreatLocker and their philosophy of Zero Trust, use the link on the screen or in the description below. Thank you for ThreatLocker for sponsoring this series of videos. You don't have to have a passion, but certainly a work ethic. So everyone will tell you something different. A lot of people will be like, you need a passion in cybersecurity. I mean, I actually fell victim to this, and what I've learned is that this isn't true. I certainly have a passion for elements of my job, seeing here on YouTube, and, you know, I would say that cybersecurity in a job context is a job. It's a means to an end, and oftentimes what you do as a side hobby in security perhaps isn't what you're doing in your career. There's just certain barriers and elements that are just going to be different. If you can learn, maybe perhaps connect with others if that's what you want to do, solve some cool problems, 
and ultimately get paid. Um, well, this can enable you to have a life to pursue other things like providing for your family, hobbies, I mean, you name it, right? So um, you don't have to have a passion, but certainly a work ethic, continuous ability to learn, that's important. Ultimately, cybersecurity, it's a rewarding career path, solving problems, helping organizations stay on top of the coolest TTPs, and really just the community. I found the community, um, the elements of the community of InfoSec to be really quite rewarding and inspiring to see how people help each other. Um, yeah, certainly there's a rewarding career path in security, um, you know, solving problems and introducing engineering portions of my job specifically has been really fun. I like to keep work challenging and interesting and just kind of throw myself into the depths and have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so certainly I'm happy with the career path I've chosen and this has created some rewarding elements. Uh, you know, on the channel, you've seen a lot of realistic elements. Um, I attempt to remain grounded in realism. And I also recognize though, that there's a lot of opportunity out there. So this is just kind of a few anecdotes or points of an unfiltered kind of honest take on security. It's my perspective. It's one perspective. Everyone's going to have something different. Um, but perhaps this has been, you know, maybe a little enlightening with the fact that a lot of marketing right now is get paid this stuff. And I try to remain transparent, you know, as much as I can be. Hopefully this video has been informative, insightful, and well, until the next time, you have a good day. You already know what it is.